Well, all you need to know is it's called Project Scribbler, and it's by Jingwan Liu. Come on out and show us Project Scribbler. Hello, everyone. I am so excited to be here to show you a tool which hopefully will blow your mind. So thank you. So if you are a portrait artist, and this is one of your portraits that you do not have time to colorize, what you could do is to hit the magical button. And poof, Adobe Sensei magically colors right through sketch. <laughs> yeah, watch. Um, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Keep it going. OK. Cool. So you might be wondering what's happening there, right? So let me show you another example. This is a portrait of writer Charles Dickens in 1842. What we did was to train a neural network on tens of thousands of photos. And by seeing these examples, it's able to recognize facial features and fill in plausible colors. So this is cool. Now, you might be wondering, what if you work for a magazine? Uh, or have black and white photos of your great-grandparents, can we colorize them as well? Yeah, we could. So <laughs> I do have a black and white photo of my super, super smart great-grandfather. Um, he doesn't have many color photos. <laughs> so what do I do? Adobe Sensei made him alive. And I also have a super sexy grandma. Well, great grandma. She died in 1935 before color photo ever became popular. So let's ask Adobe Sensei again. There you go. Look at that lush lip color. It's pretty cool, right? <laughs> so now you might be wondering, hmm, you are so obsessed with portraits. Are you also related to the famous portrait painter Rembrandt? Well, <laughs> let's find out. You know, I don't have enough time to finish my design backstage, so let me try to draw a little bit here to finish it. Uh, I'm going to just draw some structure of the nose. <laughs> <laughs> Big structure of nose fans. Okay. <laughs> Well, forgive my shaky hand in front of 12,000 audience. <laughs> it's not great, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right. OK, oh, wow. well. <laughs> That's awesome. It's OK, not great, but I guess I am not related to Rembrandt after all. But, but I do have a friend who is art, actually an artist. And let me load up his design. This is his character design. Before painstakingly finish all the details, he uses our tool to iterate his design ideas with clients. His clients like it, but would also like to have a handbag to go with the character. So not only does he want to control the shape of the handbag by sketching, but also the color, the texture, and the pattern to go with the handbag. So let's see what I could do here. I have a every texture. I'm going to do a crop and then put it on top and change to another texture that I like and do a little crop and put a few swatches just to give the neural network some hints about what I really want it to look like. And there you go. The texture is propagated to the entire sketch. Thank you. Now, if you like the result, maybe you can start from it and finish your design using your favorite Adobe tool. This is the final design from my friend in Photoshop. So. Thank you, Jing Wan. Last but, lo last but not least. I have a final example, a caricature of a pretty funny-looking guy, and I wonder who that is. 
<laughs> I didn't have anything to do with this. If you haven't guessed, let me fill in some colors to help you. And there you go. <laughs> this is Project Skibbler. Hope you like it. What do you think, man? Wow, it turned me into a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, this is very impressive. So, how how does it work? How does it know what what um, colors to use on the face? So, um, we train a neural network on many many photos, and we actually carefully choose photos, including uh, different diversity, gender, and uh, skin tone. And so the neural network will make the best guess possible based on the input sketch or the photo. And in this case, it does make your skin tone a little darker. But we are actively working on the feature to allow user to modify the color a little bit. I see. So it can sort of differentiate between people of different races? Yeah. It's Very problematic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. This is, this is really great. I mean, this is like a coloring program. You're making children obsolete. This is great. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Yvonne, that was you're fantastic. Amazing. Oh, my god. Yeah.